okay hi guys uh, this is a simple video of um, video explaining about earth fold in a three phase system and here I have already drawn the figure over here and uh, I will explain it how it's it's very easy to understand also this is uh, the bus bar actually bus bar connection is this which I represented R Y B and from each of this from each of one from R as well as Y and B I have taken one connection and connected to a switch it connected a switch over here which is right now in open condition and then the, we got our one fuses over here fuses for every uh, each of one R Y and B and this is the bulb and here we got resistance um, which is connected to a neutral point and which is connected to earth this is a neutral point and then you can connect to connected to earth so this is a very simple diagram and I'll explain it how it works so if, suppose if there is no leakage of earth and I close this switch so what will happen here we know this is a live wire RYB so the voltage over here it is 440 right and voltage at earth is here it is zero voltage right so what happened when I close the circuit here there is a high potential high voltage and here it is a low potential low voltage so when I close the circuit this will become close and the you know the current will flow from a high voltage to low voltage when there is a potential difference between them then it will flow the current will flow so current will start flowing through this and uh, this acute fuses bulb and resistance and come to the earth because here there is a zero voltage and 440 voltage over here so bulb will bulb will glow so this is a normal condition so if there is no earth fault then the bulb will be in glowing condition it will it will bright so if there is a leakage and the leakage can be anywhere it, it can be from any machinery from any motor or uh, anything like if suppose it, now I am representing uh, one leakage from one of the bus bar line R. So if there is a leakage, I am representing this as a dotted line. This is a leakage. This leakage. If there is a leakage, what happen? It is connected to uh, to the hull of the ship to the earth where it is connected. So right now, now this there is a leakage happening. So right now I press this switch. What will happen? So there is a path the current to flow from here for case of R in the case of R there is a path and there is one path which is this it can, can flow through this way and come to earth and there is one more path over here this way also the current can flow so what will happen if there is an earth leakage the current will the most of the current will pass through this line which will cause no current will pass through this line why there is no current is passing through this line because we have got a resistance over here and current will always find a path which is easiest to path to go through so it will pass through here so there is no current pass through this line that means this bulb will not glow and other bulb will glow these two bulb will glow so it is a clear indication that there is a earth fault or leakage of current happening in the R and we can also find out the intensity of how much it is it means we can get a brief idea of how much it is leaking for example if if the current is leaking only a little then what will happen a little amount of current only will pass through this line so much amount of more more so only a little amount of passing through this line and whatever left some amount of current will also pass through this line so that makes this light glow but in a dull it is it will be in less intensity it will be a dull light so with the intensity of the light also you can understand how much leakage is happening so since this is the similar similar case for y as well as b if there is a y there is a leakage then the bulb will not glow because it finds another easiest path and like b also the same for R, Y and B. That's it about earth fault in a three phase system. There is nothing much about this. And uh, if you want to know why all these components are there. First of all the switch. Switch we require because we want to close the circuit whenever we require. We don't want it to connect all the time. We just whenever we want to test it that time only we require switch because it's otherwise it's always leaking. 
So that's why we provided a switch over here. Fuse. Fuse, everybody knows that fuse is just for safety. And I will explain it again if it uh, what it is. Bulb bulb is clearly an indication. It's it's indicating the earth fold. Resistance. Resistance is <coughs> to um uh, to limit the flow of current and that's why resistance is there and for example if, if there is no resistance it will be like uh, short circuited for example 440 voltage over here and zero voltage if it directly connected that will explode this bulb if there is no and uh, this this conductor uh, the huge amount of current will pass through this conductor it can burn it so this resistance is necessary and if in case why we are using the fuses over here if in case this resistance is malfunction if it is not working that time what happen a high amount of current will pass through this that will damage the circuit that will explode this bulb and also that's why we have got a fuse over here so the fuse will cut off and it will prevent the flow of current that's it thank you